And joining me right now to talk more about it from Bogota, Colombia, the former president, Cesar Gaviria. He was elected in 1990 and served as his country's head of state for four years. Thank you so much for joining us. You've just uh, presented a report about the effects of drugs and democracy, and you've concluded, along with former presidents from uh, Brazil and Mexico, Mr. Gaviria, that the drug war is not working. What are your advice? What is your advice on how to make it work? Well, <clears throat> there, there, there are many things that can be done. Uh, I, I don't have a solution, but what I am now certain is that just putting all consumers in jail, as the U.S. does and some of the Latin American countries did until quite recently, is not, is not a solution. Uh, the, the, the Plan Colombia uh, has been very successful in helping the Colombian government to deal with problems of security although there are still uh, a lot of problems in security you show in medellin, in medellin. but uh, but colombia has not been successful in reducing the flow of drugs to the u.s but or latin america or europe so what that is hasn't worked uh, as, as you say you have to reduce consumption as you say you have to reduce consumption yeah. and it hasn't worked but you're you talking about reduce. less focus on interdiction i think more focus on going after yes. organized yes. crime yeah. Yes, I think, I, I think well, for Latin America, uh, it's clear, has to move to consider the problem of consumption of drugs a health problem. And helping addicts like the U.S., uh, all the European countries does. The policy of putting people in jail because they consume drugs doesn't seem to be working anywhere. Not in the U.S. The U.S. has uh, more than half a million people in jail for uh, narco-trafficking or narco-trafficking-related issues, and it's more than the, all people in jail in Europe. Let me ask you, one of the lines and one of the things that one of those drug dealers told Carl Penhall about Colombia, the streets that he's working, is that the rules don't change, the rules are of the street, and they will always be the same rules. How do you attack the rules of the street? How do you change the dynamic that leads to this constant no, flow? The, 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 what you see in the streets of Medellin is the same in the streets of Sao Paulo or Rio or Mexico City or most uh, big Latin cities. It's happening just the same. And even U.S. Uh, cities, I mean, violence is growing up uh, in relation to drugs everywhere, everywhere. So you need to first to try to see, to separate the problem of consumption of drugs and not think you have so many resources and so much capabilities, so just putting people in jail will solve the problem. No, it doesn't work. In, the, in, in Medellin, you need to, to work a lot with people to take them out of drugs, of consumption of drugs, or being part of these gangs, and, uh, and the U.S. has to change its policy. It has four times the consumption of Europe, and in Europe, they don't put people in jail. They all help them. Only probably Sweden puts people in jail. But in no, no other country does that. They help consumers. Uh, they Mr. really help. They like, like, yes. Mr. Gaviria, uh, in terms of your report, it was also about the drug trade uh, and, and its effect on democracy. How is that affecting democracy in some of the Latin American countries? Oh, in a, in a very significant way. I mean, only when you see the extraordinary effort that Mexico is doing to, to, to try to confront the drug trade, the damage on the judicial system, the damage on the police and the, and the military, all that is a significant cause for democracy corruption. You know, when, when uh, this, uh, this, uh, when narco trafficking start to grow as, as a consumption problem, immediately you see kidnappings and extortion and many other crimes. So, so, so if the U.S. doesn't make an extraordinary effort to reduce consumption, moving more resources from, from the jail system and the judicial system to, to treatment and to, to deal with the problem with education and campaigns, instead of putting so many people in jail, is going to be very difficult. I mean, the Mexicans probably in a few years will be able to deal a little better 
with the problems of security. But the flow of drugs will keep, will keep, will keep growing and when you as, look it, at, as it's happening. When you look at places like Afghanistan, where the drug trade continues to fuel and pay for the insurgency and instability, as they look there to a way of combating that, they're looking also at Plan Colombia, which is to try to... Which is oh, to, yes. Mm -hmm. But, but, but you, you should know something. Probably the problems of security of Gap Afghanistan should be looked as the way Colombia has done. Colombia has improved the security. But the problems of drugs in Afghanistan will be there for a long, long time. It's not, it's not so easy to reduce the flow of, 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 of heroin and the, this material, the poppies that, uh, with which uh, they do make heroin. But of course, you have to look playing Colombia. Colombia is a, is a good case if you want to look for improve this, to improve the security. But it's not a good case if you want to look how to end narco trafficking. It's not a good case okay, at all. Okay. We, will never we will never be successful unless the U.S. reduce consumption, and the Europeans do also. Well, how, how do you mean exactly reduce? I mean, you, part of your uh, report was talking about decriminalization, if not legalization. What do you yes, mean by that? We, 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 do, we, we do believe in that. You should not put people in jail because of the consumption of drugs. What you need to do with addicts and people that consume drugs is help them. Deal with them as a health problem, deal with them as an education problem, or do even what the Europeans do. They take people who are addicts and who are in the process on the medical treatment and they put them and give them drugs and help them and try to take them out from organized crime and put them in, in the hands of health system and people who support them. But just putting people in jail doesn't solve any problem, only increases the problem. The U.S. has to look its policy to start to use more of that $40 billion uh, a year that they use, to use, to use more of those resources in the health system, in treatment, and taking some people out of jail. I mean, putting people in jail creates a problem doesn't solve a problem. Of course, if they are or organized crime, you have to put them in jail. But if they are not organized crime, but just consumers, it makes no sense, after all looking all this okay. experience, to put them in jail. Deal, Europe does much better than the US okay. with the levels of consumption, and they don't put people in jail. President Gaviria, thank you so much for joining us.